your lips and treat them. It's also lipstick for the day. So let's see, that's what it looks like. Like a little bullet. Now I have a lip product on. Boy, is that orangey. Ooh, it's super orangey. I'm just putting it on over what I have. Okay, so it's a screw up and it has little tiny holes on the end. So I'm gonna screw the product up. And sometimes you know that takes a while. It's taking a long while. And this is called Smooch. I don't see it coming out. There it comes, there it comes. Okay, listen. I don't think this is going to do right if I don't take off what I have on, or at least blot it. Because what I have on is waterproof, as y'all know. I'm not going to use a makeup wipe. I probably should. I don't know where it is. <laughs> that's enough, just to get the part that's uh, waterproof, waterproof. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see this. But looky, now it all came up. See the little holes? And it fills in the little holes. So this is a treatment that's tinted. It's very orangey. It's called Smooch. Oh, wow. Mmm. Gosh, it smells good. What is in this? I like it. Look how shiny. I wonder if this bleeds real bad, though. Okay, and also, I don't know if y'all noticed, because these little holes, I don't know that they mean to keep this on, but there's a little piece that was on the very end of this that covered those holes. And I'm going to put it back on because it was on there. See? Um, yeah, I guess that is it because... You'd have to, I wonder if this, that stays in very good because there's not a piece that comes over this. Was there? Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was. I just got so much on my desk that I can't, there it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah, so I don't know that you have to put that back in, but you might want to so that it doesn't come oozing out later. Um, yeah, so yeah, you could keep that. Wow, that looks fantastic. Let's see what Petal Pout is all about. Um, Petal Pout soothes lips in, in, in a rejuvenating treatment infused with nourishing mango. That's what the smell is, is mango and cocoa butter. It comforts lips with moisture and a wash of natural looking color. Lips are left, left lush, hydrated, and kissable. Take off the cap, twist up the stick, and apply a thin layer on your lips. And that's it. I haven't checked any of the ingredients on this, so you would need to look at that. But I can tell you, um, I can definitely smell, I don't, maybe a slight taste of the mango. And um, definitely the shine and the moisture I feel from the cocoa butter. So, yeah, that's good. And I think I have two of the petal pouts. That one's called Smooch. And this one has call, is called Pucker. And it, that one's more of an orangey color. It is a very natural. It says in, uh, these are very natural colors and this does look very natural on. You know, so kind of, I, I put on a lot. And also I did already have on the edges, I already had on my Chanel. And I wonder if that's going to keep it from bleeding. But if I didn't have that on, will this bleed? Because it's, it's, it's cocoa butter. So I mean, it's, you may need a liner or just don't put on a lot. Um, so here is, what is this called? Pucker. And you can see this one's a little, it's still a kind of a naturally color, like the color of your, some people's lips. My lips are not this color. Mine are more pink, purpley. Always have been. But that's a naturally, kind of a natural color, so that looks good. And yeah, you can see it's something that, um, again, you twist and it, you can see it's kind of liquidy, creamy. Um, like a gel almost, like a coconut, like a butter, like a buttercream. So that looks great. So what is my overall feelings on this? Let me see if I've got anything else from flour in here, because I have a lot of other things. Um, 
Yes. I got their Lash Warrior volume and length from Flower. Spiked Warrior brush, fiercest black, full blown, dramatic, extreme length, before and after. I don't see that it says waterproof. It says our exclusive spiked warrior brush catches every single lash, coats them from root to tip for a supercharged dramatic volume look. 365 spike, I'm sorry, 360, completely around. Spike bristles compact clumps on every angle for unimaginable definition. I do not know why I cannot seem to talk right now. Uh, camo pigments. Lashes go bolder than ever with our coated pure pigment that don't fade, crease, or flake. Not for the timid, fiercely volume lashes with a statement making length and definition, and we never, ever test on animals. Explosive volume, length, dramatic thickness, intense definition. I'm going to use this tomorrow. I'm not going to even try to add because I feel like this is um, Rocket Volume Express waterproof. You're not going to get a real feeling of this, so I'll use this tomorrow. Very excited about it. Um, I just wish it were waterproof, but we'll see. Because it said it doesn't fade, if maybe it's water resistant and therefore it will um, we'll open it tomorrow and everything. But that does look like a good product that, um, that obviously I wanted to try that as well. And then what else did I get? Um, 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 is there anything else in here from them? Oh gosh, yeah. This is another one? Yes, this is also from Flower. Okay, so this is a different palette. This is called Sugar Rush from Flower. Um, and it's got a bonus $6 brush. And these are um, cool tones because the other one is warm tone. And so I did go ahead and get this. Now you see this is an eyeshadow only. This is a full face. This is eyeshadow only. But I did want to try some other colors that were not just the natural warm uh, palette. You know what I mean? I wanted to try... A cool palette as well and I saw this and I thought well why don't you try that palette I wanted to I wanted to give this whole brand a shot because I really like I don't know I like the concept I like that it's um, cheaper but it's um, healthy in the sense of you know natural and hydrating and all that kind of stuff I wish you hadn't put the six dollar bonus sticker right on the front you don't want to see that six dollars right and see, if I take this off, it's going to be sticky underneath. And one of the things you can do is take this sticker and go back over where the sticky is and it pulls it off. It is pulling it off. So that does work. So if you have a sticker, go right back over where the sticky is like this and it kind of pulls it back off the more you do this. Yeah. Okay. So here it is. Let me open this. There's the palette. That's pretty, y'all. Let's just look. And it's a good brush. I like the brush. I needed a smaller brush. So that's good. I like that. Because they weren't any. Uh, let's see how what the pigment is. Oh wow, it's really light. And kind of chunky. And that's one of those... In, the, in here it looks like a champagne, but when you actually get on your skin, it's gold. Alright, let's look at the next one. It's darker. It's very smooth, but it is chunky. But smooth and this one now that's your typical palette and I'm gonna put this on my wrist so we can see it really good what do y'all think it's a little chunky but that's okay I'm not expecting it to be perfection it is a lot cheaper and there's my three typical highlighter transition and darker and you could definitely use that for brow but let's do something different. Let's use these fingers and do um, some of these pink shades. Pink. And maybe this one. And maybe, okay, that did not come off. So these ones with the shimmer, they're chunky and they're not showing up very good pigment. So let's just see how these do. Whoops. I've got so much stuff, y'all, I can barely do anything. <laughs> Yeah, that's very chunky. So the only thing about that is, is you just have to blend it out good and use a good brush. I'm going to use their brushes. So there's the two color kind of palettes. There's kind of a warm and a cool, but even the warm is neutrally cool warm. 
And also, I did use my fingers and not a brush, so that may be why they have the look that they have. So that's that. So that is all of my flower stuff. What do y'all think? <coughs> I just wanted to try the brand, and so I got a lot of the pieces from the brand. So you're like, uh, yeah, Beth, you sure did. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty then. Did I get other stuff? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Y'all, somewhere under all of this is my glasses. If you could see this stack. I wish I had a camera on this side of the camera. Oh, where are we? 22. I can't see that far. I need to get this monitor to where I know a lot of people who, when they are doing their filming, they always look to a side. I always look right past the camera because my monitor is there. Sometimes I have a monitor down here that I look at like during the doggy bag thing, I was looking down and I didn't look close enough. And that's why I'm um, on that tag. I like split second look and I said brown when it was bottoms and I have not heard back from her. You know, I almost always don't hear from the runner up. I saw something on my desk to ship from, I need to go back to that one. I think it's from spring of last year. Yeah, they never answered. I may use some of that stuff if people don't ever answer. The girl that won last year, no, year before last, summer, never got this Bible, and she was military, so I'm always worried. Was she um, deployed and didn't come back? I was kind of worried about them. Anyway, how close are we? 23, 25. Okay. So is there anything else that I want to show y'all? talk about that some other time and that some other time probably on my other channel oh, what's that? <laughs> nothing you need to see it was just a white out <laughs> and that's just an empty box and that's okay well, I do have my planner in here and I am going to start doing planner videos because I'm able to use my stickers after all on this anyway 